This is Dakota, Jesse, JT, and a future from Determination coming at you with another Determination podcast where we talk about pretty much nothing. Would you stop? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I'm not even done with the oh intro. Oh my god. Alright, well, we have some fun things to talk about today. Not really. Uh, this is... Well, we've got the Determination idea book in front of us right now. <laughs> Yay. Um... And this is basically the notebook that we write every single ridiculous idea down in. Uh, even if we don't, like, have a full thought. Like, if it's just a funny thing that we say, we write down in the book, and then we're like, all right, we can use that eventually for something. No, this is a different one. And I, one. Think, I think JT no, wants to, to talk about That's something. Well, yeah. let's, let's go ahead and start off with the clown drama. <laughs> <laughs> we started talking about before the podcast the uh, clown drama serious yeah. tone is going to be it's an extremely serious idea where it's a hospital full of like actual doctors that only treat clowns <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> but like <laughs> see like that's the it, it was barely a full idea but basically the concept is it's just super dramatic and super serious like a like a soap opera or like a, I don't know, like just a, just a, dr- a drama in general. With no mention of the clown. Yeah, outfits. there's no discussion about the fact that everyone's a clown except for the doctors. Yeah. It's just super serious, just like, she has cancer. And they're just like crying or whatever and they're honking their noses or whatever. And they pull and out like the tissues. And tissues yeah. out and they just like <laughs> connect it to the... <laughs> yeah. And then, and then we take that idea, and then we make specific, specific scenes for it, like the mimes. Oh, the mimes. <laughs> where a mime comes in, like, stabbed, and then they're, oh, no, sorry, this is this is a clown hospital, the mime's going down the street, and then he goes outside and dies, and then <laughs> yeah, mime... Wait, how does he leave? A little more he leaves, oh, yeah, he, he sits down, and then rowboats out yeah. of the hospital. And then and he dies in the street, and then the mime... Uh, paramedics come and they lift him up on an invisible gurney. <laughs> that, <laughs> that idea is so great, but I have no idea how we would ever be able to do that. That's why we're talking about it. We're not being able to oh, do yeah. it right Basically, now. Basically, every idea that we don't think we'll ever be able to do, we think it's funny to talk about, so we're just going to bring it up now. Uh, and maybe eventually we'll do it, or if you guys would, if you guys hear any of these ideas and you want us to do them, just leave a comment below and we'll discuss it in further detail. Um... Well, what else you got? G- give us a random one, and we'll give us like a ridiculous one, yeah, and then we'll try and explain Let's what that meant when we wrote it down. Um, we could do uh, da, 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 da. gravel man. Let's talk about gravel man. <laughs> <laughs> Have we talked about gravel man? We, I don't think we've ever discussed what gravel we man is. We just say gravel man. Gravel man. We did. It was whenever we filmed the love video. We were talking about gravel. Oh, man. we talked about gravel man in the love video, right? Right, we'll do a different one. Which was a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah. It, and, for, everyone, and everyone liked that oh, video. Oh, link in the description. I fucking loved that video because it was the only video that we've ever done where I got to be the serious one. Everyone else got to be That's super stupid. I know I liked it because you weren't the stupid <laughs> one and we're not good acting like you. Hey, fuck off. Like me, I'm not good oh, acting okay. like you. Oh, okay. I thought I did a really good job of being the serious guy. I didn't say you're bad. Guy. I'm saying I'm bad. <laughs> you guys are just bad at... You guys don't got the Dakota charm and, going and my, on And my, my mom likes to point out, he's like, oh, oh. You're not an actor. And I was like, thanks, Mom. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Mom. On, on that specific video? On a, on a video like, that oh, I... You can't I, act. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> well, there hasn't been that many videos where you specifically have, like, a really big role, right? Has there been? Like, Other than that one? I mean... The, the Whenever it's like stupid funny ideas, I can two do pairs, that. The, two, like, the, doing... the, this man has two pairs of legs video. You were kind of important for the first little bit of that. It's, it's like if I'm doing, like, stupid, I'm super if I'm doing a stupid like, normal me, but like, a, a stupid asshole, I can do that. <laughs> but whenever it's like out of comfort zone, then it's awkward. Like that happy, <laughs> go happy. lucky. I'm in love. Yeah, I'm in love, guy. I'm like, oh, learn great. to be happy then. That's learn, yeah. ha- learn happy, DePietro. Just learn what that you is. Find something yet, JT? We're filling space. I didn't know I was supposed to be looking. I thought oh, you were just fuck, talking. man? That's your... <laughs> um, all right, what's this one? Dakota, DePietro, and JT are stranded in the woods. Depp and JT are around a small fire pit discussing rations, shelter, etc. Oh, this is no. when we get... We literally get, like, stranded in the woods. Okay. Oh, and yeah. And Dakota right. finds his way back to the fire. 
And then he has sticks, sticks with leaves. leaves all over for camo. <laughs> they haven't had food in days. Dakota and DePietro kill JT. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write that. Did I write that? I don't know. I know I did. I wouldn't write my that. name as Depp. Okay, so we killed JT. Why would we kill JT food. and eat him for food? And then He's JD the scrawniest one of all four of He's us. That's the point. Why wouldn't you guys try and that kill me make and eat sense. me? I'm what bigger than all of you. That's why it's funny. How much of our stuff has made sense? Tell me. Not Blame much, me. but... I thought the twerking zombie idea made a lot of sense. It does. We sh we need to do that. We need still. to do that one. We made reference to that in um, the treasure hunt. Right, is, yeah. is, where, is where we reveal every idea we talked about in the previous video is going to happen eventually? <laughs> oh well, yeah. Every video where we say, "All right, let's make a video about this," and it's just like a joke. It's actually oh, an I idea that we're Clam eventually going to Clam Slam Arena. <laughs> That's fucked up, and I don't know if we're ever going to be able to do that. I don't think we're ever going to get two women who are like, no, yeah, I'll, I'm down for that idea. Let's totally shoot that. I want to hear this idea. Well, you don't film and it. It's like, it's like, and it's like SeaWorld where there's like a, it's like, there's a splash zone. <laughs> I forget what the, the it was like joke the Olympics. was about. Yeah, but I'm saying like there was it, it was just, like to announce it, it was, was yeah that's what it was. It didn't it only, show the women. It didn't show anything. It just followed Eventually, two they, announcer they, they, they guys like talking wall, and, and it got like sprayed yeah. super <laughs> soaker over the and then, and then the one girl like moaned and I was like that's a technical foul. No moaning. <laughs> <laughs> she should not be disqualified. All right, right. right, I'm gonna go ahead and rick that whole conversation real quick. No, it's a good. Rick! <laughs> okay, what we got, JT? What's next? Um. We, ha we already talked about we the Pogs. In a yeah, we told them podcast. that we've got the idea for Pog, and we're going to do that eventually. Um, Hawaiian shirts. Does that all it says? That's all it says is Hawaiian Care to shirts. elaborate on that one, JD? Because I know that was you. Hey, JD, why does it only say Hawaiian shirts? Why is it me that wrote it? Because you're the only one who where? wears Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> that's where? That's my writing. Yo, that's your writing. JT, oh, JT what? He gave me the idea. I don't know. I figure it's oh, yeah, something that's true. We everybody has give a Hawaiian Hawaiian shirt idea and on. he has to write, write it down. So my vote still goes to JD. So Hold on, I, I need to add, make some additions to that. To what, Hawaiian shirt? No, 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 just in general. It's I need to write the ones the I remember from my phone okay. before I got smashed in the car door. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cows have three have dicks, we talked about three that? stomachs, one no, for each. No, no, thank We talked about JD's. Wait, 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 what? JD, go ahead oh, and say that. Cows have three dicks, one stomach for each dick, so they have three stomachs as well. Wait, how many cow how many stomachs does a cow actually have? Four. Two? Four? Four. Four. I believe. So it's got four dicks? No. Four <laughs> udders? I guess if you want to lap make that connection. How many nipples the are there? The individual udders? parts are called udders? I thought the whole thing as a collective Is was that the true? Udder. Yeah. Call out to all of our, our determinites who live on a farm with a cow. <laughs> how many nipples does an udder have? Four? Or does it not matter? Are there some cows so that have more? you said four udders, so I pictured a cow with four <laughs> sets of... Oh, four nips four, on each? Four giant with boobs four nips, with, yeah. with nips on them. <laughs> That's fucking weird. Udders are weird. Can we talk about that real quick? Udders? <laughs> Can we just... No, I don't want to talk about that. How, how far into the podcast are we right now? Like two minutes. Two minutes? Really? I don't know. I can't like see from over here. I'm making a number up. J. Well... Yeah, like You're the timekeeper. Okay. What are you writing down there, boy? The multiple ideas I had on my phone before I got smashed. Dakota, you want, you want Dakota that. can't wiggle a pencil? Yeah, can't wiggle pencil. Um, What's the one underneath that? Upon ultraviolence. Oh, Dakota does... Whatever he's told. <laughs> Dakota does whatever he's told. So, guys, I'm just going to go. Dakota, you're going to sit down. All right. Dakota, leave. All right. Dakota's funny, right? Laugh at me, Dakota. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a funny idea. I like that idea. We could do it right now. Right now? You mean like, like we just did on the podcast? After the podcast. Oh. In the podcast, we did it Oh, I wrote more for the Pog thing, if uh, if you wanted to hear any of Should that. we re reveal that? Because eventually we want to make it. We've talked briefly about the Pog idea before on the podcast, but let's not like give out too yeah, much about it's, it. Yeah, it still needs we a lot wanna... of work. I think we need to just like sit down like seriously and not just like talk about like funny ideas for it. Like We need to sit down and actually like, try I, and go through it. I started trying it. to come up with names last night. I, I... Of the characters? Yeah, like Kingpin is Russian. I, f I f picture he has to have a, a V in at least one of his names. Like Vladimir or what else do I have? Vladimir, Von... Volkar, Victor, Vigo. 
Vladimir Von Putin is what my name will be. Von (laughs) Putin. Um. What else we got in here? Um. I don't, uh, we don't necessarily have to fill this whole podcast with us talking about our ideas. This was just kind of like to get us kick-started. What do you guys got going on? How have you been the past few uh, days, DiPietro? How's I, life? It's fucking wonderful. I'm that doesn't job. sound... I need, I need to find a job. That's essentially it. Oh, cool. Great. That's nice. Uh, what about you, JT? What do you got going on? Work. You say that every time. <laughs> that's, that's We've had this podcast... What is this? Podcast what? Six. six. And this is the sixth time I've asked you this question, and it's the sixth uh, time that you He said, wasn't in all the podcasts. Shut up! <laughs> I, I'm excited about... I just got uh, a new TV hooked oh. up finally in my living room, which I haven't had anything in my living room for the whole year and a half that I've lived in my apartment. Right. I got uh, a nice flash screen and surround sound hooked up, which was really nice. I watched uh, 47 Ronin last night. It was pretty interesting. 47 Ronin? I don't know. Uh, Keanu Reeves. Oh, right, that one. Yeah. He's the, the whatever. The Samaru. The Samaru. The Samaru. Um, <laughs> I, just, uh, I just recently got the PlayStation 4. You got the PS4? Yes, I did. You can How are you liking that? It's nice. Dude. Fuck you, JD. <laughs> are we going to have this conversation? You want to have an argument on the podcast right now? You want to know the last time I turned on my 360? When? I don't know. <laughs> I literally don't know. Last week to watch Cosmos. That doesn't count. That counts, JD. You turn your Xbox on. Listen. Ow. Why? Why? Why you say? Listen. I said. JD's oh, a, I just I got just, a PlayStation Four, and you went. You like you fucking shrugged JD me out like oh whatever Xbox Dakota says fanboy. for the next ten minutes is just bullshit. I just like to antagonize. You're an yeah, Xbox you fanboy, JD. Prick. You're just making an excuse up. Not anymore. I don't really care about games that much anymore, man. Games are on the decline. Game, for me. Uh, games, man. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, moving out of my game phase. Yeah, whatever. It's not a phase, asshole. <laughs> that means it was fake the whole time. Oh, of it was fake. fake. All those you times faker. you thought you had fun with me, fake. <laughs> I never had fun with you. You're a faker. Good. You're one of those shitty people that fakes everything. JD, I can tell. Even Just orgasms. T- yeah? Is that a fact? <laughs> How many ladies have you tricked into... Uh, how many How many women have you spit on the back of to... <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you never heard about that? Uh, like, dudes will... will f- <laughs> the, okay, it's about... Alright, we're gonna Is get this real dirty. No, we're about to get real dirty on the podcast, so if you guys don't want to hear this, skip... Skip, like... 25 seconds ahead, I think. That'll be enough for me to explain what this is. Get past the Rick. (laughs) Guys will do this thing where they'll they'll be like just fucking the girl, right? And then they'll be like, oh, no, I'm about to finish or whatever. And then they'll pull out and then they'll like spin on her back and then she thinks that it's done. She'll like roll over and then he's like, oh, like, oh. That's weird. (laughs) Who does that? (laughs) Dickheads. That's who does it. I never heard of that. And then they have children and they wonder why. (laughs) No, no, I mean, like, on her face or whatever, oh, not okay. like... <laughs> I thought you were just fire hose all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fool you. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, that was probably a little bit more than, like, 30 seconds. Let's, let's go back. back. Hey, everybody. Let's, let's get off that one and start with something I read. And this this idea for a uh, video is just heavy southern accents with a question, question mark. mark. <laughs> with, in parentheses, example... Oh, brother, where art thou? And <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that. I watched Oh, brother, where art thou? And I thought, hey, and let's do a video with Southern accents. Where we all have super heavy it, yeah. Southern accents. Can any of us actually do a super heavy Southern accent? Not uh, one that sounds probably legitimate, but ones that sound really stereotypical. Not, very, I, can't, yeah, yeah. I can't either. I could try and do one of those deep Southern accents. <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty good. So I didn't know that about the movie Oh, brother, where art thou? Yeah. I didn't even know there was something called that. I thought even that was what? the line to be what? said in a southern accent. Was, no, oh, brother, where are thou? Oh, brother, where are thou? <laughs> I'm getting the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> you, sir, are giving me the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my kind of bad uh, southern accent. JD, can you do a southern accent? Nah. I'll try. Okay, you want to talk on this podcast? All right. I talk when my turn is given. You don't have a turn. Oh, you just gave yell you your turn. Your turn is now. <laughs> the ball's in your court, motherfucker. And say somewhere. Court. Stop kissing yes! people's socks on fire. What the fuck? Yeah, I wasn't even good. looking. We used to do that all the time. Put the lighter right? down. Just, <laughs> I don't care what we <laughs> used to do. It smells it's nice. Smells too, like ass. We used to shit in our diapers, but you don't do that anymore just because we used to do wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. You got. 
You want to take this off? (laughs) (laughs) Rick this. Because then your whole foot gets nice and warm. and I mean, JD, what's going on in your life? My feet smell now. JD, let's talk about something. You recently cut your hair. Let's talk about that. Yeah, it was time. It's time? Yeah, I had long hair for a long time, so... Listen, I, 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 I despise you a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna explain <laughs> why. Because I have fr- I have tried so hard in my life to be able to have long hair, yeah. and you just, like, spat in my face. You're just like, I've look got... Look at him! I've got, he, do, he didn't lop it off! He doesn't look like a schoolgirl con- right now. I've been now. considering... He's been considering it. He's been I know considering he lopping yeah. it off. I fucking hate both He's of you. He's going back to the Dutch boy. I hate I'm both of It was never a Dutch boy! <laughs> As you can tell, Sorry, my boy. hair is... <laughs> Don't you it was it? Dutch boy. It wasn't a Dutch boy. <laughs> it was a fake... It was, it was a, a goddamn bowl cut. It, oh, it was the no. bowl cut. It was, it was faded and it just grew in and everyone's like, hey, look at this asshole. <laughs> and I didn't try Wait, that. Wait, put that up real quick. To put, to get a picture to Pete, you'll put it up in the no, podcast. No, don't put it up in the podcast. Need to see it. JD, don't no, do I that. need to see it later, so you need to throw it up in the middle of the you Go to my Facebook and find there. I'll, I will link. It is. In the description, I will link a picture of you if you do not put it in the... And then everyone will know your fucking Facebook, and everyone will go be friends with you and nag you, and the internet will love you forever. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell the internet to go look at your Facebook. Oh, are you about to show me the picture right yeah, now? I'm about to try to find it. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, find a good one. Though. I used to have real long hair too. You never saw it. Was I'm really pretty. pissed off. I want fucking long hair. I want it so bad, it's, but my body will not let me have it. It's got more cons than pros. So no, I know. Sometimes. I have. I get hair. It's I had in my hair. butt crack after a shower. I gotta pick that up. <laughs> I've had a long hair. I've had long hair before, and I understand how much trouble it is to deal with and to have. But when this motherfucker can do this, like that's just natural. F- it's not. <laughs> yeah. that's not a this good exclusive example, picture. That's no. what it looked like normally. This picture. Exclusive. And it grew. It slowly grew. There are better ones. Was, when you're younger, there are better it's ones. Straight, oh. straight up bowl when he's younger. Fuck <laughs> off. Okay, we're, all right. Straight up bowl. Seriously, my hair is really curly. <laughs> it doesn't even look like you, Pinchon. My hair is really curly, so when it grows, it gets to, like, here, and then, like, stops. And it's just like, oh, I'm just a fucking bush now. Well, you've had long and hair I, before? Oh, yeah. Just, yeah there's pictures of me with that super nice, long hair. silky, black Native American hair. Yeah, it fucking pisses me off. I got everything else except for that. That's, like, the one thing that matters, and I don't fucking have it. <laughs> I've got long curly hair. hair. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've got nothing but I just got curly hair, and I can't do anything with it. And people are like, why don't you just straighten it? And I just look like one of the Beatles. <laughs> like, I can't do anything with it. And it just pisses me off. Because I want... I want to see what Dakota hair looks like when it's that long. I'm assuming... Mid- hair. It was... Yes, I've seen you like that before. I don't know. I really kind of think that if... Because, like... Danny from Ninja Sex Party and Game Grumps, he's got super long curly hair... But for some reason, I can't do that. I can't make my hair ridiculous. Like, it's curly, but it can't get, like, that big of curly for it to be, like, a fashion statement and not just, like, oh, Dakota's 14 again. <laughs> like, there's... A- Danny's got it, and he's, like, long, flowing, curly locks, right? And then he straightened it, and it got, like, crazy, like, 80s rock band music hair. And I'm just like, why the fuck... He... We have the same Jewy like, curl hair going on. We got the Jew afro going on, like... Um, Seth Rogen and, um, the other fat one. Jimmy McJew. <laughs> uh, Jonah Hill. Oh, okay. Um, the two of them got... Who's Jimmy McJew? I don't know, he's, <laughs> it's a Jew for us, so. I get that kind of hair. I can't, for some reason, I can't, like, I want long, flowing, curly locks, but I can't fucking make that happen. I'm gonna try one more time, because usually I don't keep my hair this... It's it doesn't look long, but it's it's th- depending on like it's thick. It's thick. It's <laughs> there. Trust me, it's there. It's just like eventually it's gonna pass that line, and it's gonna go from one day it's gonna look like this, the next day it's gonna go, <laughs> and it's just gonna like fan out like fucking roots of a tree, and just be like flopping around everywhere. And I'm just like, I can't. With, oh my god, it's everywhere. I can't withstand it. I just want. <laughs> Cut here. Uh, Rick. <laughs> if this, 
I'm sick of man. Take, take I just that want song. some long hair for like a fucking week. Just give me some long, crazy yeah, hair. Yeah, cut my hair and I'll tape it to your head. Okay, let's make this happen. <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna say, if someone could take our like, outro song or intro song, it's the same song, and just make it with different tuned ricks, it would be the best. Rick, 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 there, I did it. <laughs> better. What the fuck you mean better? That was really good. I did that. Was, that was spot that was four on. Four out of seven, I might not consider listening to four it. Four out of again. seven. This rings. is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Four out of three. <laughs> <laughs> Why it's so funny to make, make up absurd rating scales? This was the worst thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. Fifteen out of seven. <laughs> Okay, alright, we're talking about nonsense now. How far into the podcast are we? After 20. After 20? Okay, we've, this is the last 10 minutes. We gotta, let's make something good happen. Go ahead, Dapisho. My dad texted me if I wanted, if I was gonna eat at home. Am I gonna eat at home, guys? <laughs> I don't fucking, hey, Jesse, are we gonna eat at home? Don't look at me. Well, you guys already ate some shit. Oh, I, well, we Jimmy's. JT already ate some shit. JD will eat forever. JD doesn't stop eating. He's an empty fucking pit. No, listen, there's something. That's about him that. just trying to fill up his life. And are we gonna be like? Are we gonna be like the Rooster Teeth podcast cabin. where at the end we're we're just constantly like, so what are we gonna go get to eat? Like, <laughs> this is the end of our the last ten minutes of our podcast is like, so where do you guys want to go get some food at? Because I'll name drop right now. Starwood is delicious, and sometimes after we're done shooting stuff, we'll go do that. And I don't know if you guys are interested in something like that, but that sounds fairly delicious to me right about now. But, you know, DePietro's a broken asshole. And you wanted to say Jew. I can hear that. You <laughs> wow! Like, Rick that. That you was very You already said in a short film. What? You said Jews. Oh, yeah. Okay, Jews. I'm, do Jews. I have to make a political JT statement right now? was a Jew. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to make a political statement now. I do not, or... Never have I liked Jews. Ever, <laughs> ever had anything against Jews. Ever. Jamie, splice listen, that and make it listen. sound like you dislike them. <laughs> Cut it up so it sounds I like I never, ever, I like never have I ever liked Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Jews are. Jews are literally the worst thing on the planet. To ever. We don't even just splice it up. He said it right there. Just cut everything else out. No, no. <laughs> so it's just like. So where do you guys want to go get to eat? <laughs> I hate Jews! <laughs> Thanks to come and answer our question. <laughs> listen, listen. I doing, listen, I'm sorry, Jewish people, but just the word Jews is a punchline. And I know that that's a shitty thing to have to deal with on a regular basis, but... It's just I'm the way so, of the it's, world. It's the way the world works. <laughs> uh, I'm, like, I don't know. I mean, no offense to any Jewish people. It's just fucking funny sometimes to just be like, Jews. Like, <laughs> because also, Jews is the only thing that is, like, a reasonable thing to call someone, but also the racial stereotype thing to call someone. Because you can just be like, oh, he's a really nice Jew. Right? Can that but, be appropriate? <laughs> because some Jewish people say that. They they call themselves what Jews. Nice Jewish what boy. a nice Jew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you say it like that. That's what I was just about to explain. In, in you can be like, listen, you can go, Jew. Or you can be like, Jew. That just sounded like, like that. <laughs> you can't say that about other things. You can't just be like, Caucasian. That just sounded like Caucasian. a like, Caucasian. Like, well, you can't like, offend white people via race. It's well, impossible. No, uh, it's like the Louis C.K. joke where yeah, he's like, like oh, oh, you God. called me a cracker. Ruined a cracker. my day. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, you took me back to a time where I used to own land and, and people. people. <laughs> Ruined my day. <laughs> Seriously, though, I'm just saying, no, like, no I, other thing... There's, there's a worse You can't for... call people, like, a good thing... Like, there's usually a good thing and a bad thing that it, that is connected to a race. Jewish people don't have that. Like, is there a really terrible thing yes. to call a Jewish person? Is there? Is it kike? Yes. We're Whoa! Gonna... Whoa! Rick that! Whoa! What's wrong with that? Is there something... That's like, it. Is that what it is? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know, but that's what you call them. Or <laughs> sheeny, that's a bad one. Too. What? What does that mean? Listen, I'm just innocent, and I have no idea what any of these mean, but I'm going to, I'm trying to they educate don't myself. They all have to have what meanings, is, like... What does that mean? Well, it's gotta come from somewhere. Like kraut, because Germans like sauerkraut. Is that real? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Germans get called krauts? Krauts. And it's right, like a fuck you to German people? Yeah. 
Did you oh, ever watch it, World it's War like Two Dagos. movies? Oh, Crouch. Da- I've Come heard Dago Crouch. before, but that's not. <laughs> Racism is gonna be a word. To <laughs> it's, it's the ta- the tagline. It's just like podcast number six. And video it's just like, video ideas. And racism. Deep conversation. Racism. racism. <laughs> Can we put racism at the end of this yes. list? Just to get, that'll get people it's to click, right? Racism. Are we almost at the end? Should we? We're gonna have two bad endings to these podcasts. <laughs> Suicide and racism. There's one back to back, baby. Five subscribers. Jews. What are you doing? Four minutes left. Yeah. Four minutes left. Okay, cool. Let's keep talking about Jews. Uh, <laughs> There's other other uh, ethnic slurs. I'm just saying it's it's really weird because like that's a they usually have meanings behind them like Mexicans. because because someone who hates Went Jewish back. people yeah, they... people who hate Jewish people can be like oh, fucking Jews, but then I've heard people who are Jewish be like, you know, us Jews are just like that's just a like that's a good thing and a bad thing that you can it's, call it's someone depending on how you yeah it's the tone of voice. I love Jews. Fucking filthy I mean, Jew. Like use, it's, that can use the most simple sentence, like "Hey you" or "Hey you." No, it's that like, doesn't work at all. That sentence does not work. Hey, no. hey. <laughs> Unless it's like "Hey you," like you're chasing somebody down the street or something. <laughs> so, where you guys want to eat? Jews. <laughs> right. do, do you guys want to eat? Do I you, would love to eat. I'm hungry. Do you eat? Do you food? Is that a question? JD, do you food? food? Oh, wait, that brings me back. JD, you're going to mention something about the cabin. Does anyone in the yeah, podcast no, want to come eat with us? I wanted to say that there's something about that cabin. Not that, <laughs> that no, your knee is hole. in my mouth again. No, there's no hole in these pants. I checked. Let me there's, check for you. No, Let me get it for you. Let me get that gooch well, for you. It's just, there's like a vortex in the cabin that just... <laughs> Affects my appetite. What, it makes you eat way. everything. Yeah. You have to oh, you. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> no, I listen, wonder what could not, be in the cabin. The gives JD the munchies. I, I, I wonder. Like, I well, fucking I wonder. What magical this, fucking end it, oh, right. end it. No, we're not ending it. Oh, I <laughs> wonder what kind of magical <laughs> fucking it, powers that could be in the cabin that makes JD have the munchies. I fucking wonder what fucking random crazy happenstance could fucking make somebody. I've never been at the cabin where I've gotten to the point where I was full and not like, oh god, I'm full, but yeah, no, I can, yeah. Real no quick, I, I hope that, that the bar of audio is just <laughs> one giant brick and, and there's no like, brick. Brick! <laughs> it's the cabin, man. JD, let's be honest real quick. Also, you're allowed to say this because it's a podcast and they can't prove anything because after it happens. You smoke weed up in that cabin? Up in that cabin? You smoke some weed up in that cabin? <laughs> <laughs> You smoke some. You, you, smoke, do, you do, do some grass, some some, some of the devil's lettuce, <laughs> <laughs> some of that reefer. Yeah, it's just some of that. Boring some of that because no one wanted to go outside. Are nice you guys? Day. Do you guys want to do some of drugs? <laughs> that's that's the extent of my knowledge of drugs. <laughs> the word. Do you guys want to do drugs? That's all I know. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> That's not true. We can talk about this some other time on the drug podcast. Every Sunday's at four. Every Sunday's? (laughs) Every Sunday's at four. We'll do a drug cast. Right after the car cast, where we're all in a vehicle, driving somewhere. That's our home. (laughs) Someday we're going to live in a car. What's the drug cast? Do we try a new drug each week? Oh, yeah. Technically, we wouldn't be... (laughs) 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 Whoa, that'd be cool. (laughs) Okay, first off, I want to I want to bring something up. The last time that I was with you and we were doing a thing, we got fucking lost when we went to go get food. Can we talk about this real quick? Oh, yeah. How much time we got? We can go over a little bit, whatever. We got lost, <laughs> like bad, like it was real fucking bad. We wanted to go to Starwood. You know where that is? Mm-hmm. That's like 15 minutes up the fucking road. We went one way, the road was closed, and we were like, "We'll just drive around it. We'll go up the road and we'll go to the next road." The next road up the way was this shady ass fucking like ghetto road and he's like I'm not fucking going down there at 9 o'clock at night so we drove to the next one you want to know where the next one was 18 miles up the fucking road and in the woods somewhere so we spent the next fucking like 20 minutes driving through the woods (laughs) and no idea where we were we're like we're in the middle of a fucking city how the fuck are we in the middle of the goddamn woods right now we're in Newcastle we're smack dab in the middle of Newcastle somehow we're in the middle of wilderness we don't know what the fuck we did we ended up where where Where'd uh, we pop out at? Eastbrook. I don't even know where that is. On a map? No fucking clue. I have no idea where that is. We just showed up there and we just started driving in a direction. He's like, I know where we are. 
we're going the exact opposite direction of where we need to be going. So we turned around on that highway and we drove the whole way up. We got to the place in like, as soon as he went, I know where we are. Four seconds, we were fucking there, out of nowhere. We drove around for like a half hour, not knowing where the fuck we were, and then suddenly he's like, oh! And I'm like, how could we be so badly lost that we've just been like driving in a circle around the place that we want to be to, but in the woods somewhere, we in the middle of the city? Yeah. I don't know how the fuck that happens! At one point, we were going down like a little one lane. Oh! <laughs> in the middle of the woods and just in the middle of the woods no other roads just one lane it was like this is the end and we're like do we want to take the chance that this road drops us off somewhere on the highway or are we just because it looks like we're going straight into a swamp and we're gonna get just (laughs) fucked up by somebody it was bad there's giant mansions everywhere though that was the weird part we didn't know that there were so many mansions that one in the middle of the woods is what got me because we drove down that one lane path yeah and then all of a sudden giant mansion and then there was another shady road that went into the into the fucking um, into the sewers (laughs) there's a road that drove into the sewers whatever into that swamp oh man (laughs) but yeah that was a fun thing to have to deal with um we went over a little bit we're done but yeah wait um Alright, well, this has been the Determination Podcast with Dakota, Jesse, DePietro, and JT. Uh, We'll see you on the next episode of the podcast. We love you. Uh, Goodbye.